everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Plants Zoo. My name is Nessa and today we're gonna take a look at a beautiful mod here on Planet Zoo, which is the Barbary Lion by Gaboy and Giorno Pizza. A beautiful, beautiful creature which you should be very fast if you actually want to see in real life since there are none left of them in the wild at this point they are extinct in the wild but there are a, according to a few websites i found um a, about a hundred left of them in zoos around the world um i'm not sure if that's purebred uh, barbary lions or if them they have been bred in with other lions uh, but anyway, they are what a, especially the male lion should look like, if you ask me. Look at this beautiful mane. And this wasn't even the biggest or baddest mane I found. Uh, but it was quite difficult to find pictures of them since there aren't that many of them. So most of them were really bad um, quality or they were drawings or they were black and white or something like that so i hope you can live with this picture um they have a small tassel on the elbows front elbows not the back uh, and they have tassel on their tail which isn't all lines that have that they have this beautiful gorgeous big mane that actually go all the way down to the funny business area um yeah they have a kind of a different bone structure in the face you will see that in a minute um but overall they are just gorgeous um so let's let's just get in here and uh, yeah we have some females we have some males i have different coloration of the males uh, and females so keep that in mind but i'm just gonna pull out a male of the Barbary line and one meal from the West African line just to compare here. Now the big difference is clearly the size. The Barbary line here is bigger but not as toned here you can clearly see all of the muscles over here which doesn't appear as clearly on the Barbary line, you can see there is still some. They are not completely gone, but they're not as torn. The tassel on the tail is pretty much the same size, but the mane, you can see it goes all the way behind the uh, shoulder here, over the shoulder pretty much, and then down here where, as you know, the this African lion's mane stops here, and this is even a pretty one of that. We have some uh, differences that won't be as big of a difference if you have the remaster mod for the West African lion. I don't, but some have. Uh, but when you get in here, and I'm gonna see it, say it right away, um, the... Oh, I didn't have that on, sorry. The mane of the Barbary line is the best fluff i ever seen in Planet Zoo. It's so beautifully done. Of course, there is a little bit of blurriness in it around some places. But it's so well done compared to over here. Where it's very massive and it actually looks for me like they made a massive mane and then put some strands of hair out on the outside of that uh, you can see here the texture the structure is completely different the, the west african line again if you don't have the remaster mod it is a little bit cartoonish in the design where the beverly line is more realistic i think he's wet uh, so don't think too much about the shine here. Uh, the face structure though is completely different. Um, and that's also if you don't look at the uh, cartoonish parts here. Look at the face. And look at the face. 
completely different. This one just looks so much meaner. And the same if we let them move on. And we found the uh, females. So we're gonna take a West African lion. You can see here, just looking at them like this, the females doesn't have the biggest difference. But when we take her and move her up here and take a Barbary lion up here, then you will see a difference appear quite soon. And now I place them kind of into each other, but the, the size again, the Barbary line is a little bit bigger and that's pretty much about that. But if you look in the face, especially the nose area, you can see here the bone structure go a little bit inwards and outwards. Where here, it's just when, uh, in a straight line. If she will stop doing that, then you can see it better. And then also the eyes goes kind of do downwards. They are pulled down in the face uh, towards the nose area. Where the um, West African lines are more like just going inwards. Uh, so there is quite a few differences. Uh, the uh, Barbara line also have a very elongated face. Again which also makes it looks more normal. I think most animals have a longer face, uh, where the West African lion have a more rounded face. Keep in mind that also is a tiny bit of the cartoonishness of the design from Frontier, but they all have a more rounded face than the Barbary lion. Uh, we're gonna jump into Zoopedia. Yeah, we have a lot of them because I already recorded this without pressing record. So they are extinct in the wild and they have been this, that since uh, the 60s. They live in Africa, the Barbary region, Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia uh, in grassland biome. One of them need 200 square meters of land and they live from 8 to 40 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind a lot of the zoos go up to uh, 42 degrees Celsius. Great to fence 4 feet 13 and over here group size from 2 to 30. One male, 29 females, 2 to 4 if it's males, 2 to 30 if it's only female and they have a patriarchal dominance you know what i tried to pronounce so let's just pretend i pronounced it right okay uh they are promiscuous confident and guess should not enter the habitat hmm, sugar uh, the males grow to around a meter and 34 feet a uh, centimeter tall that's just under four feet i think uh, and the females 120, that's half a feet uh, smaller. Uh, da, 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 da. 14 years, both of them, and the males weigh around 200 kilos, that's 400 pounds. And the females 160 kilos, that's 320 pounds. Uh, reach sexual maturity at age 2, they can reproduce until they die. Get between one and three cups every third year, and they are pregnant for three months. They should be about average to get to reproduce in captivity. No interspecies enrichment, and I forgot to pull up the enrichment, so we're gonna do it in here. Cardboard box, large bowl, pre-presented sack, scratching pole, fire hose bowl, sprinkler, rubbing pad, blood scent marker, large snowball. Gift box, enrichment, scratching tree, scratching tree, uh, rubbing uh, pet bark. And then we have the frozen blood pumpkin, both pinatas, and the restrained feeder. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about the colors because I don't feel like we have the colors that uh, the mothers think we have. So we're gonna take all three. We have four adult males so we put Hassan 
here. Then we have Yuexi. Put him there. Then we have Tuma. Put him there. And then we have Kifle. Put him there. Keep in mind we have four different colorations here. Uh, if you ask me, some of them are easier to recognize than others. We have this coloration here that's clearly different uh, if you look at the main. Uh, this one is wet, so keep that in mind. But we have here, we have Tuma, who is the color light ma main for males with tan body. Uh, which are this tan color here. Um, and then he have this light on my own. He doesn't only have the sun in the front. It's lighter all over. Clearly darker down here than it is here. But compared to the others, that is pretty light. Then I think this one is... Yeah, dark sandy fur with dark long hairs. Where is the dark long hairs? And I would think it was the main. But since the one over here were... Light mane for males with tan body. Then I would think that it would be dark sandy fur with dark long hairs. Male, mane for males, but it doesn't. Uh, so I just don't find the darker colors there. You can tell that he's a tiny smidge darker than the others. But it isn't that much. Uh, and the main here I feel like is closer to black. Uh, compared with this and this. Um, but then it comes to these two colorations. And I can't tell the difference. Now it's wet so it, there's a difference. But this is pale sandy fur with dark, dark long hairs. You have a little bit of glitching, keep in mind that might be my computer. This is pale sandy fur with dark long hairs. This one is yellow sandy fur with dark long hairs. And why is this one yellow? When this is more yellow than this? I don't get it. So it's a very small differences, so I wouldn't use too much time on getting the exact color I wanted. Maybe if you wanted the lighter main, it makes sense to look for. But besides that, just get a few different colorations and then your cups will have different colorations and that will be makes more sense. For the females here, we have yellow sandy fur with dark long hairs. <laughs> Again, I can't find the dark long hairs. Um, then we have over here, we have the dark yellow. Dark yellow with dark long hairs. And we have the pale sandy fur with dark long hairs. So the females is actually more different in color, I feel like, than the males are. Um have one here light light mane for males uh with tan body so that's the tan color um so so you can get a lot of different colorations and i think overall it looks good with the different colorations also you can see the cups here are also different colorations and it gives more personality and you don't feel like every single animal is just a copy of the next one um so therefore they are good overall with that but uh, let's get a close up can we get a close up with you yeah overall they are very well done there is a, again the colorations that I, I i just don't understand it maybe you understand something i don't or see something i don't um the main again it's the best fluff i ever seen uh so i i'm really impressed with this uh 
I will say if you want to have a big pride of them and you want a realistic suit, then rethink it again. If there's only a hundred of them worldwide in captivity and you want a thirty of them, then then it would be unrealistic to buy them. But if you want to breed them and that way get thirty, then you would actually be able to help save the species. Um, overall, he's very beautiful. All of the small details here that makes it look small barrel lion um and the colorations are beautiful uh, or the swift shift in colorations are very beautiful uh, it isn't the specific uh, colors of the lines i speak about here it's more like here you can see the different co color for the strand of hair compared to what's next to it that's coloration shifts. Uh, again, this beautiful mane. The tassel is very well done. The paws here for didn't forget any details. And again, the fur here is also very well done. Overall, a beautiful mud. The females are also as beautiful. They are not as impressive as the male because I know the fluff is different difficult to make um but the females here are also quite beautifully done again they are more lifelike than the um west african line for me because i don't have the um remaster mud very beautiful everything i have seen for them works perfectly um the babies are also very beautiful. I will mention that the babies have a tiny bit of cartoonishness about them, which I personally love. Adults should be very realistic. Adults, a tiny smidge of cartoonish. That's okay with me. You can see it. We have these very glossy eyes. We have this mouth area that appears a little bit too big for the face the ears appears a little bit too big for the face which gives it this kind of kind of kitty like tiny tiny smidge of cartoonish very cuteness about them so overall again beautifully done um like a boy or and the uh, joanna pizza very well done overall again they have the west african lion uh uh, animations about them so everything that works for the west african lion works for them they do swim beautifully both males females and the babies in the right level in the water they do however not climb that much they certainly can uh, if you throw them up here they will climb down but they won't really cl climb up that much on their own as you can see here they have been climbing up to push things down but then they don't keep climbing then they just climb back down yeah we have a swimming male here and as you can see he's right in the level where yeah he dip dips actually a little lower uh but he is still up where you feel like he could breathe uh, and we have a female over here. You can see the same. Um, yeah, then she went down and no one else climbs up because that's just not what they do. So I think we're gonna end it over here with not the West African lion. But let's look here at all the beautiful lions. Why I just do the intro because you know that you are the one who decides if you want to get this mud, I'm not the one who decides which mud you should use or not to use. I'm just here to show them off. Always watch these videos with your own peace of mind. If you like something I don't, that's totally okay. And if you don't like something I like, that's also totally okay. So uh, if you want to use this uh, mud or not, that's up to you. But please tell me below if you want to do it. I love when you tell me which much you are using. That's just um, kind of interesting to see because sometimes there's mud where I don't see the charm of, of using it. 
I liked the mods very much. I never lie on a video, but that's just something where I feel like they don't add too much to the game. But then you guys went crazy over it. I know the whole thing. How is the mod video I have with most views? And I can't see why because it's a cow. I loved using it myself because I have a background in farming. But I don't understand why other people like it so much. But I yeah, please tell me when you want to use the mods I showed off. That me, would mean the world to me. And you know the drill guys, like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. Other in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!